My name is Aaron Croman here to teach you about Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to draw constellations. Okay, so we're going to color our black background, uh, go into the color picker. Uh, I'm going to color it kind of a, a deep dark blue because, well, that's the color of the night sky. Some deeper and darker, some just very bright from the light pollution. And we can even kind of make it a little darker in a few areas too. Use our, whoop, use our brush. And we'll go with the uh, soft air, round airbrush. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and knock down the opacity a little and just maybe even make it even bigger don't have all day and just there we go and so let's go for hmm, go a little bit smaller okay so small a little bit smaller for the uh, soft round airbrush and let's go for turn it white and uh, 47 is okay. Yeah, let's go more. Okay, and first of all, I'm going to try and uh, flesh out the Big Dipper. That's what we want. You can make them varying brightness and stuff. You can make one bigger than the other. Make it nice and spoon-like. Make this one a little small little guy. And so we have our Big Dipper. But, well, what's it going to do without any friend, little friends around? So put a little bunch of dots. Maybe even make this a little bit smaller and put a bunch of dots. Little stars and galaxies just put them all over the place doesn't matter where you put them put them close or far away just kind of fill up all that negative space And you can even add a little, a few bigger ones or so, just uh, maybe not that close together. There we go. A little too bright. Eh, maybe we'll just stick with the small ones. Photoshop is a very powerful tool for artists. Now I'm going to show you a technique to make your project even better. And then we just kind of add a little, make them shine. Just add some shine to the stars. And make one real bright. Remember, there's no particular way it shines, just kind of shining all over the place. But it's normally kind of parallel, so try and keep it a little parallel. And you can even do that with a few others. Make it a very bright night sky. All those sparkling stars. And you can even add a little lines like they show sometimes so you can connect the dots. My name's Aaron Croman, and good luck with Photoshop.